The Children's Tale, delivered by Margaret Sanger. On March of 1925, in New York City, New York. Just try for a moment to picture the possibilities of such an examination. When you want a cook or a housemaid, you go to an employment bureau. You have to answer questions. You have to exchange references. You have to persuade the talented cook that your conduct a proper well-run household. Children ought to have at least the same privileges as those cooks. Sometimes an idle moment, I like to think it would be a good scheme to have a bureau of the child to be. At such a bureau of the unborn, the wise child might be able to find out a few things about its father and its mother. To think for a moment of this bureau where the agent of the unborn or the baby itself. First, Mr. Father, a baby is an expensive luxury. Can you really afford one? Have you paid for your last baby yet? How many children have you already? Six? You must have your hands full. Can you take care of so many? Do you look upon children as a reward or a penalty? How are your ductless glands? Well balanced? Can you provide a happy home for one? A sunny nursery? Proper food? What's that you say? Ten children already? Two dark rooms in the slums? No thank you. I don't care to be born at all if I cannot be well born. Goodbye. And if we could organize a society for the prevention of cruelty to unborn children, we would make it a law that children shouldn't be brought into the world only when they were welcome, invited, and wanted. That they would arrive with a clean bill of health and heritage. That they would possess healthy, happy, well-mated, and mature parents.